Hello, my friend, and welcome. Thank you for taking time to join me. I am Morjax, and today we're going to talk about workbenches here. So uh, this is, you'll see I'm on day three, so I'm doing this in creative mode uh, for the ease of being able to set up these videos for you. But I want to show you, uh, tell you a little bit about where you can find workbenches and a way that you can use them to power level your skills uh, to better effect. So um, my experience has been they're most frequently found in the pass and gas gas stations, and you can left click with a wrench to pick them up. Alternately, you can build one of your own. It's going to cost you 10 skill points to uh, get the skill to build them. It's also going to take you 25 forged iron, 20 mechanical parts, which you can use a uh, wrench to get from uh, cars or ACs, one wrench, a claw hammer, and 50 wood. So that is how you obtain them. But what I'd like to talk about is how we can use them to, uh, to power level our skills. So what you can do is you can actually do something like craft stone axes, or it works quite well with uh, clubs or with bows to make your, uh, make your, uh, crafting, your weapon crafting skill higher or whatever. But what we're going to do is, let's cancel that out, um, craft them in our inventory and also in here. And you can see I've got a little bit of, uh, of wep or uh, I'm sorry, tool smithing already here. But what you're going to do is you're just going to toggle back and forth because you're making it in both places. Your skill of making them is going to increase fairly rapidly. And actually, when you combine them together, you also increase. So we started at 60 something. We're also we're already up to crafting 80 and, and a stone axe is up to 104. Um, so you can see where this starts to oops starts to really add up and you can get in a rhythm of oops I did it again dug on it you can get a rhythm in a rhythm of grabbing one from your inventory and one from the crafting table back and forth um, so you can do this to very very quickly basically as soon as you get a workbench in a matter of less than a game day you can have a level 600 uh, bow you can have a level 600 stone axe if you want and it's just a matter of going around and around like this. So what I would like to do is uh, I'm going to start a brand new game. Oh, look at that. We're already up into orange quality. I'm gonna, I want to start a brand new game and find out exactly how many of these stone axes it takes to, uh, to get to quality 600. And also how much skills that gets you to do so. So I'm going to jump over to that right now. This has got nothing whatsoever to do with the tutorial video, but look at the sweet road I just found. This is rad. All right, my friends, I am inside a pass and gas. This is a brand new map, a brand new file. And uh, sure enough, right in the back here, there is a workbench. So I've spawned in uh, wood, stone, and plant fibers. I'm going to cut ahead so you don't have to wait through all this, but I'm going to see exactly how many... Um, uh, axes from an absolute fresh start. I have zero tool crafting whatsoever. Um, how many it takes to get to 600 and what our skill will be like after we do that. So I'm going to cut ahead through the magic of editing and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, my friends, I am all done. Um, just a bit over six minutes later, I have a 600 stone axe and your tool smithing from an absolute fresh start uh, is going to go up to 13 as a result of maxing out uh, one uh, stone axe and you're going to be making stone axes at 147 so you're basically able to make an axe four times stronger than your actual crafting level um, immediately on day one as long as you have the resources so what we used here is about 300 wood um, let's see we used about uh, 750 stone and about 300 plant fibers roughly um, and we made it took about 150 stone axes to make this guy here so uh, that is how you can max out uh, stone axes. Now I'm going to try the exact same thing with uh, with bows. So please stand by and I'll report to you um, how many bows we make, how long it takes, what skill you'll be at, uh, and all that good stuff. So please stand by for that. All right, here we are with a glorious 600 quality wooden bow. And um, this again took me just over six minutes to do. It got my uh, weapon smithing skill up to 16 and the quality that we're getting out at that level is 172. And the best thing about this, not only can you get these really great uh, items starting out, but when they get damaged, instead of repairing them, you can just dump another uh, one or two of the same item into them and repair them back up to that full 600 again. So it's a way for you not only to get a 600 quality, but to keep a 600 quality. And um, it's, it's really a pretty easy way um, to get these tools leveled up 
Now, obviously, it depends on you getting a workbench to uh, to use, which is are relatively easy to find if you can track down a passing gas. And um, I will say that this is less useful for more uh, resource intensive items like steel. Uh, if you're making like a steel axe or if you're doing gun parts, for example. But if you have tools that you're not planning on using or if you've got materials to spare, um, you might as well do this with them because it's better than just scrapping them again. You you get some experience when you combine items together. Uh, I think it works especially well for the starter items. So wooden bows, you can get a 600 uh, club if you want and uh, a stone axe, of course. So that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get some use out of this. If you have some power leveling ideas of your own, I would love to hear about them. And uh, if you'd like to see more power leveling videos, uh, go ahead and check out the playlist down in the description below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time for more. In 1964, Randy Gardner stayed awake for 264.4 hours. Even if you subscribe to my channel, I can't say I recommend that level of endurance video watching.